Hello, my name is Julie. Welcome to my channel. You're watching Treasures Made From Yarn. And I guess I will start this video saying that I I had failed the Whip It Challenge hosted by Lori over at Armchair Chef. I didn't think, I don't know why I picked this project as part of my Whip It Challenge because I kind of figured I wasn't going to get done with it, but this, but I did get, I'm proud that I got it might be halfway if that. I don't know. I don't think I'll take a seat whole thing, but definitely he didn't. Yeah, I don't know why I picked this one. Oh, I can. It was probably because it was shawls for things we're making Thursday. So, so I have yet to decide if I was gonna continue into October with this. Cause I don't even think I'll get it done in October either. So. So I'll probably email Lori of what I got done with it. You and I failed. I'll say, hey, this is the much progress I got. So, but I will continue working on this. I usually says I usually bring this project during when the grandkids are in Sunday school, and so now that Sunday school's back on again, I will bring this project and work on this project. So I'm hoping to get this done at least by the end of the year. As far as a new project for the Whippet Challenge, I don't know yet. Might be these socks. It's a crochet project, so I should get this done. But the problem was, I was initially thinking of a video tutorial. I already have a written pattern, but I'm not sure if I'm feeling a tutorial yet. But anyway, these are socks. We're just like, no, they're, they're, they're going to be tube socks put them together and put a toe on it. So yeah, you probably do this with any. You don't necessarily have to be the chevron pattern. You can just go back and forth in single crochet until they feel they're big enough to fit around your foot, that wider part of your foot, and just make a toe on the end. That's all these are. That's all this is. Okay, so I think I'll email. I think that's what I'll do. For next month, I'll do sucks. Okay, I guess we can go backwards. I can show you all the stuff we're still working on. Um, okay, this is, this is probably the thing I should be, I probably should pick this one, but that I should be working on. This is the basket for my sister that I'm making. I think I'm gonna make two baskets. I thought we had said a big one and a small one. Anyway, I'm making this basket in exchange that she's giving me about 20 Christmas cards. So this is the progress on that. And so far I have 12 of these balls and this is number four. And that's where we're only at. We're only at that. So I'm going. I was initially thinking two baskets with the yarn I got, but I think I'm gonna have enough for just the one. Shoot, I'm hoping I have enough for the one. Anyway, this is my most, absolutely, by far, most popular pattern on my channel is this handy crochet basket. I actually like this yarn because it actually, actually, it's shaping like how I intended it, and that's like a square. So far, I like this basket. Actually, it looks like a square. It can be like, you know, the cubby shelves. I usually buy the little cubby baskets that go into the cubby shelves. I was thinking, okay, this fit in one of the little cubby shells. Cubby spaces. Oh, many baskets going on. I have this basket that I'm using rewind tape yarn, two strands, and this particular basket is two single crochets in a stitch. Skip one, two single crochets, skip one, etc, etc. I like how that effect is. And another project that just happened to be in the bag is going to be a hat. And this hat, see, I'm, make, I'm going, I guess I'm going from side to side. I'm going to have a seam. I don't know why. I usually don't like seams in hats, but it was part of the one hat wonder from Sesame Street. And this one is going to be for the count. So I've been have that stuck in this basket. 
So that was basket number two. Here's basket number three. This particular basket started out as a bag of day hat. And Lori, Laura, no, yeah, I didn't get the right Laura. Laura over at Mad Mimi's Crochet and Farmy does bot hat palooza every week. And it started, this started out of a hat pattern. It it was supposedly reversible. One side has these like rings. And this the yarn I chose, it was like, this is too tough to be a hat. It'll make a basket. So my intention was to make the basket all rings like this, but I had decided to go alternating front and back posts, double crochets, and make it look like a basket. Which is also found in one of her other hat patterns. She had that. Anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm, this is the wrong side, but it still looks cool. So I'm actually working it. With the, the right side is the inside of the basket. And the wrong side is the outside. Doesn't matter, still looks kind of cool. Well, yeah. we're working on three baskets. Okay, do, do, do. Oh. So, yeah, this was another thing I was thinking of adding for my whippet challenge. This is going to be a long and skinny tote. I think I worked a couple rows and that's it. So yeah, this is also like the basket. Two single crochets and a stitch. You skip one. And the bottom is the thermal stitch. Single crochet thermal stitch. And then I just worked around. It's all going to be scrap yarn. So this may look cool when I get it done. Yeah, I guess these are still technically work in progress. I mean, it's been done for a while. It just, I need to put the lining. I need to make the lining for this bag. And I need to fix the lining for this bag. That I did a while back. All right, now I'm trying to think any other work in progress. I think I got a couple more. I got one on the knitting machine, but I will get back to that because it ties into one of the ones I got finished. And hold on. Oh, one moment. Oh. This is the other pro I got this project on a loom and yeah, it's I don't know. It's almost like a nut like it's very open. I don't know, I might go through this whole thing and see how long it is. And the project, it probably dictate what project this is going to eventually end up. It could be a scarf, it could be a hat, it could be a pumpkin. We'll get to that in a moment too. Right. I think all I got left as far as work in progress This is my, t it's been hitting this channel for a while, you know. Started a year long temperature scarf, and this is going to be very long. I think I, I was for the longest time doing it day by day, but I think I started just recording it for a couple days and then just work a couple days worth. So we are a few days behind on this, but we almost like, we're almost, September's almost done. Which again will segue into something else toward the end too. You know, you know my like my giveaway. More on that in a second. Alright, and I think I mentioned already that I have a project on the knitting machine, so which will segue into one of the it's not really a finished project. We were practicing. So this is the first one that looks messed up. So I wanted to figure out how to get attach the panels. I'm trying to follow one YouTube video that shows how to make the braid and that's that was where you kind of like you had you work with a couple of the drop stitches and gathered up that way but I wasn't a fan of that but I am a fan. Of it. Now this is the other side. This is where the t this the section or the tube is completed. 
and then you add then I just pick I was just picking up stitches I would pick up a stitch from one panel pick up a stitch from another panel and draw that loop through and then go back and pick up a stitch from another panel and draw that like through a loop and so forth and so on not too bad so the pro this leads into the project on oh, the knitting machine. Now I want to, I like how this looks. Now we're going to try to make a blanket, making sections and add and putting them together. And I have many balls of this. And this is what's on the knitting machine right now. And to my surprise, you know, it's a size one, usually a size one or two. I have no problem on the, on the knitting machine, but this one is it's giving me it's kind of it's kind of tough in it and I don't know why because this is a skinny yarn and usually skinny yarns don't give me a trouble so well, let's see how that turns out so yeah I'm, I'm making the first panel right now and I'm you're trying to see what one ball will do what's challenging my knitting machine don't have a counter so that will be the challenging part to make sure all my panels are the same size. They have the same amount of stitches otherwise my blanket's not gonna match up. Or it'll look funny. So not a project, more like a swatch. Who knows I might add more to this and make this bigger. Be like a scrappy blanket. Alright, I mentioned pumpkins earlier. If you've seen my last video it's the tutorial on how to make these on the knitting machine. Oh. So yeah, this one only has like one, there's no, there, it was, the yarn was thick enough. I didn't need an inner layer. Made the stem a little long. Where this one needed, I needed, there is another layer on the inside. So I show you how to do that to add a second layer. And this yarn was thick enough. It didn't need a second layer. Yeah, these are. So if you want to know, how, if you have a knitting machine, I actually don't need a knitting machine. You could use the manual loom I just showed you, or you can just outright circular knit a tube and make these pumpkins. So I like them. They're cute. So all the prize that I had was making, which I almost forgot last week, was a Santa hat. I think for my grandson and this is way longer than I do. This is I don't know if I like it this long. This is really long. So I anyway, simply that is obviously the brim I did the brim first, single crochets, back loops, makes the brim. I think I did like I could have done six, I think I got like something like sixty-four stitches. And then these are just half double crochets. And I think I got up, I wanted to do six, I think I got up to seven. And then it's one row of even and one row of a decrease on each side of that. And with, yeah, with, with only decreasing every other one, it made this really, really, really long hat. And this pom pom thingy, just, I added a ball. It's just a ball. Slightly stuffed on the end. Really cute. Really, really cute. But also, I haven't shown my grandson yet. We'll see if he likes it. Or I might redo it. I might redo this and try it. And just when I start decreasing, just decrease every row and make it shorter. Let me know in the comments if you like the long Santa hat or Santa or elf hat. Let me know. I think I would have liked it shorter, but okay. I think this will be another upcoming tutorial. I got a little gift bag done. It's that kid, that yarn that to me looks like paper. But yeah, I think I, I think now that I made a pumpkin already. So that one wall, you made a pumpkin. This bag and. Have that much left. Of that ball, so you could probably. I don't know if I can get two bags with one ball, but at least one. So I got 
two more balls of that stuff and I'll probably have a separate video and show you how I make this little gift bag. Really cute. is it that is all the stuff I got done and what's going on but hey like I said this is the end of September so the next video I'm gonna draw for a winner for my September playlist giveaway which again very low entry so if you enter into my giveaway you have a very good odds of winning it, it may be something like 25% I mean there was only four four maybe five people that's it. There wasn't, I had less people this month. And yeah, so hopefully, I don't know if this video's, but I think by the time this video comes out, it'll be October 1st. So the video after this one will be, I'll draw for a winner and announce I do have October's playlist put together. So I'll have a sneak peek of the playlist in the description. So again, that's all I have though. Good luck to our future winner. And uh, if you did like this video, please give it a like. See more content like this. Please subscribe to my channel. I want to thank you always for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye now.